Hi, I'm Peter Haddock. I'm here at the Molson Open Day with Henry Moore, one of the commercial directors here for Molson. Henry, you've been busy because you've been talking to a lot of customers about how you can support them better in the digital age. And so behind us here, we've got Fleet Command, which is something you've developed for the customers group and also integrated that in with their part solution as well. So tell me what is Fleet Command and also how is that now changing the way that customers can work with you? Because as soon as they buy a new machine nowadays, they get this 12 months in uh, for the bundle, don't they? So yep, tell yep. me a little bit about it and why you've done it. Thanks very much for coming, Peter. Great to have you here. So, so Fleet Command is our solution. It's our telematics platform, able to see all your machines, full visibility, total control. So if we go back, we started developing this about two years when our customers were starting to use their telematics platforms more and more. Yep. And what they're finding is they've got multiple logons for multiple platforms, for multiple manufacturers, with different levels of formatting, different levels of access, and ultimately what they were finding is they're not, they haven't got access to the right data quickly in a format. And so what you were finding is that people were employing people, consolidate the data, bring it together, and they were having to answer questions for customers, for their customers' customers, you know, in really, really short time frames. So what we did is we started to develop, because we've got those direct relationships with the manufacturers, yep. develop our own telematics platform yep. to help bring it in under one roof and that is Fleet Command. So really what we're saying is now the, the data can be consolidated in from a whole range of brands that we've seen outside here today from the Cabelco excavators, yep. Hyundai excavators to, to crushers, screeners, et cetera, et cetera, that can all come in to this, this actual system. But it's not only that though, is it? There's no. other OEM machines that yeah. can now come in as well. We want our customers to buy all of their machines from us. Of but course we, you but, do. We, but we recognise <laughs> we recognise we haven't got the moon on a the stick. Yeah. They're gonna have to go elsewhere for their needs because there's gonna be some small items that we don't supply or somewhere they've got a specific need. And so we have manufacturers that we don't sell. We've yep. got Bell, we have got Volvo, we've got JCB, and we are adding more and more on as time goes on. And because our customers, we are leveraging off our customers' relationships so we can get their data yep. for them. Because it's their data. You, you yeah, sold, yeah. We've, someone else has sold them a machine, but ultimately it's their data coming through. So what you can find now is that you've got a, you've got a site where you're doing the dual carriage where you've got Aman rollers, you've got Hydrema dump trucks, you've got Rockback ADTs, you've got Cabelco excavators, but you might have JCBs. Um, or you can look at that whole site and the right person can look at that data to manage that and help them to control their site. Because we're, what we're finding is their customers, customers are going, all right, fine, well, what was the usage on that site? What was the idle time? Yep. You know, right down to those emissions. And the thing is as well for me is, you know, you're able to get the health data from the equipment as well that you're supplying. And so what happens there, folks, is we talk about how the machine talks to us as individuals through a digital platform and says, hey, I'm not very well at the moment. So when you get a little bit of a, hey, I'm not very well, could be an amber alert, could be a red alert. And so that information is then going straight where the geo location is going straight to your teams. But also you've got a new parts solution as well that we've talked about here with one of your colleagues in another video that that interlinks with that machine that you've sold them the exact serial number is in there. So the parts that we say we we need a filter, we need something um, to help this machine run better, that automatically goes straight down the line to the parts team and then we get it out to them faster then. Yeah, so it integrates with, with our e-commerce platform, Molson Parts, and it, go, it makes sure that your time to getting to that right part, because our customers, when the machine breaks down, no, no, quick. It, and, it's yeah. gonna, and it's gonna happen. It's costing they, money. It's yeah. costing money, you've got higher rates, You've got, you've got unutilized labor, you've got to get that machine back up and running. And that might happen at 11 o'clock at night. And at the moment when that happens, you know, whilst we're good, you know, we haven't got people <laughs> on the phone, we haven't got people on the phone at 11 o'clock at night. What's better than an email sitting in someone's inbox yeah. is, is an order for the right part to the right location, placed in their own time, and that they can track digitally. It's taking that experience that you or me have on Amazon yeah. or Euro car parts, yeah. you know, taking that and bringing that into the, con into the construction sector but taking it one step further by making it specific to your machines that you've bought from us. Yep. And it helps us to mean that we can protect you and your assets that we sell you. We sell you the machine, we service it, we cover any warranty, we help to give you visibility and control with the telematics platform, and we help you to find the right part 
quickly, first time via Molson Park. It's that entire customer journey. And it kind of goes back to why we think we are special creating this. Right. It's, it's because we are close to the customers. Yep. This has been developed with a number of our largest, most important customers locally. So we'll be able to get it deep into their pain point, understand what their challenges are, and develop something that meets their needs. And we feel that, that we're always going to be able to do that because of the nature of the relationship that we've got, both at the operator level, site manager, higher level, and then also at that at that C at that C suite. Um, and that's the whole point for me. It's like data is only good if you've got that data and turn it into real time information. And if we can act in real time and if we can do things better, then we're actually more sustainable. We're getting the uptime of the machine as well, so we're not having to replace that on site or hiring another unit. So we're getting all of that package and solution that makes us all leaner. Uh, in these times, but all sort of greener because we're not wasting resources and we're getting everything done quicker. And folks, you can get it. If I had a mobile phone right now, I could order the parts through there. I could look at all this data. So great to see you're taking command of the future of your customers <laughs> Cheers, uh, and their fleets with Fleet Command. And great to meet you today. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Peter.